Hey guys, Eric here. I was just about to leave for work when I came across this article on Facebook and I thought I have to make a video about this while I'm thinking about it. So I just turned on the camera and I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So this article is from Newsarama. I want to give a shout out to those guys at Newsarama. I don't want to take anything away from them. So if you want to go read the article with these release dates for yourself, you can. It's going to be in the info box. Newsarama on Facebook, Twitter. Hit those guys up. They are absolutely great at keeping us informed about the stuff that we love. So I, I don't want to take anything away from them. So what I want to do here is run through this list and you might say what is this a list of? It is movie release dates, the movies that we love from 2017 to 2020. Some of them are tentative, a lot of them I think are going to stay the same. Um, a lot of stuff is mystery films, Ooh. and then some of them have dropped off the list completely. So let's just get into it. As you guys see the first point of interest up here is about the Gambit movie. Now I talked about this in my uh, 2016 release date video that I did recently and about how there's been no information about this movie now it was supposed to come out in October of this year but there's been no press about it and with Deadpool being so freaking huge and popular this would have been the perfect opportunity for Fox to push this X property but nothing crickets tumbleweed we haven't heard anything about this Gambit movie and that's really weird because Channing Tatum has been championing the hell out of this movie but it looks like it's dead in the water. There's been no re-release date. It hasn't even started filming. It's been riddled with problems since day one. Now, to be completely honest with you, I was never excited about seeing Channing Tatum play Gambit, so I will be on board with this property if they cast another leading actor, but right now, I have no interest in it, and I'm absolutely okay with them canceling this movie altogether. Um, they could really do something with it, but with Channing Tatum attached, I have no interest. All right, so let's jump right in 2017. March 3rd in 2017 is the untitled Wolverine sequel. Most likely it's going to be Old Man Logan. They're going to have to adjust that story to work with the X universe because some of the uh, the MCU characters they don't have access to, so they're going to have to change the story to work in the X universe. There's been a little bit of mystery about whether or not it's going to be rated R or not. I really don't see a reason for it to be rated R. It could be, it couldn't be. It doesn't matter to me. It's going to wrap up the Hugh Jackman solo film uh, franchise with the X-Men uh, universe and Fox. So, you know, make it PG-13, make it R. It doesn't really matter. I think it'll be an okay film. I haven't really loved or hated the individual uh, Wolverine movie so whatever they decide to do i guess will be okay may 5th super excited guardians of the galaxy volume 2 i love the first one this one is going to be different from the first one because it's not going to tie into the whole thanos thing with the infinity war it's going to be all about the characters of the guardians of the galaxy and i'm happy about that we get to expand on the world that they have where they are in our universe so i'm i'm looking forward to this film i love the first one so i'm uh, i can only imagine that if they continue that the, the same energy they had with that first one into the second one, I'm, I'm going to love it too. Uh, June 23rd is the Wonder Woman film, which is going to piggyback off of Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice. Don't know much about it. She looks great as Wonder Woman. Um, I will reserve my feelings about it after I see Batman versus Superman, but right now it's a June 23rd date for the solo movie. It's going to be a period piece similar to the first Captain America movie. Let's see if they can make her work in the DCU like Thor works in the MCU. That'll be interesting. July 7th, the Marvel Studios and Sony Spider-Man reboot. It's going to be a trilogy at least with Marvel basically dipping their hands in the sony water and fixing all the problems they made with the original spider-man films that they did before i'm excited about this love seeing spider-man the civil war trailer just did a video about that um so yeah i'm, I'm totally looking forward to this october 6th is a report but unconfirmed untitled fox mystery marvel film it's going to be part of their x franchise probably going to be deadpool 2 that's plenty of time for them to make it it's october 6th of next year if they pull their resources together they could have another deadpool movie ready by then that's what i'm going to guess it, it would be and that seems the most logical film um october thor third is thor ragnarok this is probably going to be the wrap-up swan song for the thor individual franchise for marvel it'll be the final one with chris being thor in a solo film i think he's going to pass the mantle on to somebody else hopefully jane foster so we get a female thor that would be really cool um but this could be the beginning of the king thor era where he just sort of comes in to help out once in a while but pretty much stays in asgard and I'm cool with that too. November 17th of 2017 is Justice League Part 1. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to include a lot of the characters that I love. So again, I'm going to have to wait until I see Batman vs. Superman to let you guys know what I really think about Justice League Part 1 and how I'm feeling about it, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, Bloodshot is coming out. It's unscheduled for next year, or yeah, for 2017. I think they'll release it around Christmas time. It's probably going to be a holiday film because they don't want to compete with the heavy hitters. Good, good idea for Bloodshot, but I'm looking forward to that too. I think that'll be fine. Um, Fantastic Four 2. 
It's possibly been canceled. Yes. So this looks good. I would love for Marvel to get the Fantastic Four franchise back in the MCU. I think they would do great stuff with it, not just because of the Fantastic Four characters, but because a lot of the villains and storylines they could do with that part of their franchise. So it's off the schedule. That that other reboot was horrible. I'm totally on board with them canceling this. I don't want to see another bit of that horrible Fantastic Four crap. 2018, we jump to the, to the next year. Um, after 2017, reported but unconfirmed, untitled Fox mystery Marvel film, probably going to be X-Force. Um, I don't think they'd put an X-Men film in January, so it's probably going to be X-Force or Cable and Deadpool together. Um, February 16th is Black Panther solo film. Yes, love the way he looked in Civil War. I think it's going to be an amazing solo film. The director of Creed is doing the directing for this film, so I have... I have nothing but trust that this is going to be awesome. That's on February 16th, 2018. Uh, March 16th is a solo Flash film. Not excited about that. I love Grant Gustin as Flash on the CW DCU, so I don't care about this Flash movie. I probably won't go see it. Just not, I'm not interested in it. Sorry. Love Grant. Support him 100%. Uh, May 4th is the Infinity War Part 1 from the Avengers. This is the big two-part wrap-up to the Thanos arc that has been following the, the MCU for quite a while. So we're going to get the first part of that on May 4th, which is a great time for that. Really looking forward to that. It's going to bring in all the characters we've seen so far all into one big movie. So, I mean, that's going to be great. July 6th, we get Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is the Ant-Man 2, but it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. We're going to get just as much of the Wasp as we get Ant-Man I'm pumped for that. I loved Ant-Man 1. It was a sleeper hit for me. Um, I, I just really like the idea of this of this team-up film. July 13th is a reported but unconfirmed Fox Mystery Marvel film. That's probably going to be an X movie, one of the major X films. Don't know which one. Some X-Men movie of some type, most likely, because that's the time of year you'll probably see that. They're probably adjusting a lot of stuff because of Deadpool, so that's why there's a lot of dates that are just kind of up in the air with nothing tied to them. Uh, July 27th is Aquaman, right in the middle of the summer. How awesome. Um, Jason Momoa, looking forward to seeing him as Aquaman. So I think this is going to be a great movie. Um, again, I'm waiting until I see Batman v Superman for all these DC properties. December 21st is a Spider-Man animated feature from Sony. It, I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, 2019, March 8th, Captain Marvel. Yes, we are getting the female Captain Marvel. She's going to come in. She's going to kick ass. But then DC is doubling down and giving us Shazam on April 5th, which is their Captain Marvel, all in the same year. What are the chances of this? Was it strategic? Possibly, I don't know. May 3rd is the wrap-up for Invi uh, Avengers Infinity War Part 2. It's it's the final swan song for that team of the Avengers. We're probably going to see a mix-up in the Avengers roster moving forward, but I am really looking forward to that. So far ahead, those dates may change a little bit. Uh, everything from this point on is, has a possibility of changing. June 14th is Justice League Part 2, so we get those both of those big wrap-ups in 2019. It's going to be another great year. And for everybody that was worried, the Inhumans, July 12th. So all of this stuff on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with the Inhumans, we are going to see in a film not maybe that team but the whole mythology of the inhumans is going to carry over into the film properties with the inhumans on july 12th we may see black bolt medusa all of those characters so i'm pretty excited about that and then we have a very small window here for 2020 april 3rd is cyborg pump for that hopefully that date sticks uh may 1st is may 1st 2020 is an untitled marvel studios film could be anything who knows June 19th is Green Lantern Corps, which is going to be great. That's what I think they wanted to do with the original Green Lantern film, but they failed horribly. So again, looking forward to this, to see what DC is going to do with it. Another untitled Marvel movie and another untitled Marvel movie. Who knows what it's going to be? They kind of, I think they're tossing around ideas of some solo films and some team films. We'll see. Anyway, those are the release dates of the films. Um, hope you guys got some information out of that. Hopefully Gambit's done. Hopefully Fantastic Four is done. Um, all this info from Newsarama is going to be in the info box so you guys can check it out. Again, hope you guys have a great weekend. I have to get to work. Thanks a lot for watching. Rate, comment, share, subscribe. See ya.